Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we had a crack at the big blooper, but that didn't exactly go over it so well. Never mind. Um, technical difficulties, like literally straight away. Okay, that's um, that's Dolphin for you. <clears throat> so uh, I've had to switch back to using my elite controller because uh, well, we, should, we might be okay because um, for some reason like dolphins just stopped letting me use my GameCube controller I don't know why it kind of had its problems before like every now and again it just refuses to um, recognize my GameCube controller but I can use that controller on like any other emulator, so I, and Windows recognizes it as well. So question mark, no idea. Uh, also goes without saying that it works on my actual consoles too, fine. Um, but then I've always had very strange problems with Dolphin. Out of all the emulators that I've ever used, Dolphin has been just the worst. I mean, it's a pretty good emulator. It just it has so many issues. Like, you'll go to use it one day and it just, I don't know, just something won't work. Like it did yesterday. Okay, anyway. Uh, so, we apparently... Okay, so it's like, it's... Hang on. Yeah, okay, and for some reason it now thinks um, RB on the controller is the start button. D-pad still works. I've literally just remapped all of the buttons. One second. Okay, we've managed to fix the problem, and all we had to do was reset everything, uh, completely unbound my controller, and reconfigure everything. Oh, yes, and then it didn't work. So we did it again, and it works third time, for now. Anyway, uh, right, so we've got to go have a little look at that blooper, haven't we? Um, but Chris was telling me, the game's librarian, was telling me there's an island down here above the clouds. And that is the one that tells you all of your game stats. Now, I never knew about this island, so let's go have a little peep, shall we? Uh, there's that um, drone thing. So it should be just straight south, really. <clears throat> Let's have a little gander. I'm guessing this island is a... Um, what would you call it? Ooh. Ooh. The, uh, the, there's a train? Okay. That's pretty cool. You have found the Sky Train. Well, I mean, I had the Sky Train written in my notes, but I didn't realize it was a, uh, well, actual train. That's pretty cool. While a rail car of similar nature currently exists in Valua, this flying train is believed to have once carried passengers between the lands of the red, green, and purple moons. And I don't know why our compass is over that. Um, although no more passengers board the Sky Train, can we go into our menu and read that last little snippet? Uh, wanted list. Yeah, if I had my time again, I probably would have just kept playing this on my Wii U. Ah, Sky Train. Are there no more passengers board the Skytrain? 
still carries on. All right, cool. <laughs> nice. I like it when we bump into discoveries. Keep marking them off our map. So, we are now above. I reckon we're now above. Okay, no. We're getting close to the dark rift. It should be over here somewhere. I'm very much looking forward to this island, though. Ooh, there's the dark rift. That's the entrance to the dark... Ooh. Oh, is this it? It's got to be it, right? It's a quaint little island above here. Okay, so it's not actually a discovery. Hey, and we've got some... What the hell is this? Okay, this is cool. Ah, oh, they're those little bird... chaps. Alright, I guess there's a jam here too. Well, I guess we may as well have a little gander. I had, I never knew about this. This is sick. It's like a chow garden or something. Okay. So where... Oh, the rumble is strong. Oh, there we go. Come on. Yes, excellent. We have a cham. Man, this is wicked. Oh, this is the Hammer Chow dance team. So this is the Hammer Chow. Or how have you said? Hammer Chow. Right, let's go and have a chat to this gentleman here. Chirpy, chirpy, chirp, chirpy, chirp, chirp. What? Okay, hi. Be quiet, chirp. What do you want, Chirp? Whoa, who is this old guy? I'm the Hammer Chow Hermit, Chirp. I am their friend and caretaker, Chirp. This is our private paradise, Chirp. You're invading our party, Chirp. You're really starting to bother me, Chirp. If you don't leave soon, I'll have to spread bad rumors about you. What? What will you ask about? The way I fight. Okay, Chirp, I'll tell everybody about the way you fight. You better hope you've been brave. First off, the number of times you've engaged in battles would be... Whoa! 798 times. Damn. You either don't know what you're doing, or you're just plain belligerent. Well, maybe. On top of that, you've defeated... Wow! Wow! Dude! What? Over 3,000 enemies, and the number of times you've run away is... <gasps> chirpy chirp! You've never run away from a battle. You're either really slow or really brave. Lastly, the number of times that you've been knocked unconscious during a battle would be... Four me? Four times. Ica seven times. Fina eight times. Drachma two times. Enrique three. Gilda zero. Well, I guess that's about average. Not too bad. Well, there you have it. Is there anything else you want to ask me about? My treasure hunting skills. All right. I'll tell you how your treasure hunting skills are. First of all, your treasure chest discovery rate until now would be 84%. Hmm. That's pretty average. You have what it takes to be a decent air pirate. There are some treasure chests that can't be found once they're passed up. People must know when to give up. I just know all about treasure, and you've caught quite a few fish until now. You've caught a total of 400 fish. The total value, whoa, 14,000 gold. You're about the level of an average fisherman. Not too bad, I guess. But that's all I have to say about your treasure hunting skills. Ah, okay. You don't want to ask me anything, that's all right, chap, but it means that I can go back to taking care of my hammer shoes. I wish I was born a hammer to you. That's why I wear this bird outfit. Right, I have questions. How are you here? No, seriously, how are you, like, literally here? Like, this is kind of bizarre. Why are you here? And why would you want to be a bird? This guy has some serious psychosis. Yeah, I mean, these are pretty happy little birds, to be fair, but, uh... 
How a child with a familiar face? Familiar face? Should we know that one? Okay, anyway, let's get out of here before we get eaten alive or something. I've seen the film Birds. Jeez. So we've actually captured 400 fish. That's interesting. Okay. Right. Well, let's now go all the way back over here and try and take on the big blooper. Uh, I've reread what Chris sent me. So I have some tactics in mind. We're ready for war this time. We need to buff ourselves when we uh, attack with the big cannon, but we have to debuff him as well, which makes sense. Uh, we also need to do little snippets of damage to him uh, as often as we can, because of course that will weaken him. Anyway, so when we get ready for the knockout punch with our main gun, otherwise, I don't know, I think we just have to keep chipping away at him. Slowly but surely. Now he does like 8,000 damage or something like that per turn. But it's not too bad. Let's fast forward, shall we? Keeping our eyes peeled for goodies. We want all of the goodies. Now, where are we? Oop. Almost there. I say this should be about it. Okay, not bad, not bad. Almost. Right, ready to descend into the combat zone. That's the rock's nest, I believe. Yeah. Maybe. Is that the rock's nest? Oh, it actually is. Alright. Cool, I guess. Now, back to the looper land. Now, where are you? You giant floating egg. Come on. Uh, we're not going to be fighting. Oh, God damn it. Okay. All right, everybody go for a standard attack. If we could kill some, that would be great. Or, you know. Yeah, okay. That works. Happy with that. Oh. Two ran away. That's fine. Let's go for some of this. Uh, I think we killed four. Wow. Yeah, that actually wasn't too bad, to be fair. Alright, so now we just got to patrol this little area until the... chap turns up. I think. Giant floating egg thing. This potentially could... Ah, there he is. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Here's me. This could potentially take age. Oh, there he is. Right, let's slaughter some more of his children for our own pleasure. Um. Did Omega Cyclone actually do anything to these guys? No. No, uh. No, it doesn't. Well, that sucks. Don't run away. No, no, no. We won't be having any of that. There's no running, kids. Oh, well, I mean, we slaughtered the lot anyway, so that's fine. Nice amount of gold, though. I wonder if it is worth grinding a few levels there. Maybe. Right, you big floating dick. Let's do this. Let's crack an egg, shall we? Kind of looks like an egg. Kind of. Alright, now, right team, we need to get focused. We want some uh, gear grease. Uh, and you know what? If we have the advantage this turn. Let's uh, send some cannon rounds his way. Doesn't necessarily mean we're gonna, you know, win or it's gonna work, but 
couple of nuggets of gear grease, and then I suppose we can go for some magic. Uh, now, he does, does he have drilling? Yeah, he does have drilling. Still only lasts for two turns, that's fine. Pop drilling. Go for it. Oh, yes. That's what we're talking about. Hopefully he won't run. Now, if memory serves, first time we uh, gave him a quick blast across his bow, we nearly killed him with the Moonstone Cannon. So with any luck, he should be weak enough now. I say should be. Trying to be optimistic. Really don't want him to run away. Right, come on. Let's keep this going. Oh, right, so drilling can actually um, be lost. Ah, not great. But it is what it is. It's okay. That's okay. Oh, no, he's running away. Ah, oh, dude. Son of a... Right. Should have probably save stated before we went in, I guess. So, I think what we have to do there, then, is we do actually have to take him out in one shot. Oof. Ooh. This is gonna be... something. I mean, we'll try. I don't know if we now have to wait a while, or if he's just gonna turn up. Kind of annoying that we have to keep doing this, but that's that's what it is. It's definitely um, a very irritating enemy to fight, but I suppose that's to be expected. Uh, as a rule, I've never liked enemies that run away. I think they're really lame, but hey, you know. And I think this game has far too much of it as well. Enemies running away. If only we had one more bit of spirit. So we could do a main attack straight off. That would be cool. But it's okay. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. He's silenced. But silence doesn't stop you from using special moves. So it's all good. It's all gravy. I guess we're just going to keep getting ourselves... Ooh, Ike is almost leveled. We're just going to keep grinding us uh, experience and money, I suppose. It is what it is. It's the life of a pirate. It's a good thing that we can actually fast forward. Uh, okay, we actually only have a couple. Only three this time. Well, two. Don't run. No running, kids. Only pain. Excellent. See, even just killing three is, you know, worth it. Max spirit plus one. Oh, come on. If we level up enough, I think we will eventually have um, a spirit of four. Uh, where are we on the map? Yeah, let's turn back. Oh, they got us. Ooh. Again, just three. That's okay. Come on. Come on. Don't run. Do not run. We don't like it when you run. There's no point using spells. Not quite as lucrative when there's only three of them. Alright. Come on, Mr. Big Blooper. Where are you? I keep calling them bloopers. Where are they from? From another game. Uh, big blooper. Uh, oh, bloopers are from Mario. Man, what a moron I am. Yeah, loopers. Really annoying enemies. I mean, I think like every great RPG, 
has irritating enemies. I think that's fair to say. Ooh, nice. At least we are um, completing some of those spell lists. All right, I suppose we'll head back down. It's got to be around here somewhere. Where are you, you fool? It's going to be... Oh, God, there's a couple of them now. That's fine. Murder! Wanton, savage, and brutal murder. Ooh. Getting some glitching there. More emulator glitching. So, in other news... Um... PlayStation Plus Premium, whatever you want to call it, has just come out um, to the UK. Uh, and thanks to Jimmy Fails, I managed to get Resident Evil Director's Cut on the PS4. So I've only got a pro. I say only. It's, you know, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, so I'm actually on holiday next week. I think I might do like a bonus run through of it. Um, and I think I will. Because I know that would please somebody. And I always like making people happy. So. And hey, an excuse to rerun Resident Evil, director's cut? Sure. On an actual PlayStation? Hell oh, yeah. Whoa, 5,000. Yeah, okay, this is actually, like, really lucrative to grind here. Like, incredibly lucrative to grind. Damn. But we're not having an awful lot of luck here. I have no idea how, like, the spawning... Ah, I know what to do. I have had a brain. Um, let's just kill these guys a minute. Let's get some more of that loop of money. Don't run away. We don't like that in these parts. God, bloody loopers and running away. I mean, what's, what's the matter with them? Yellow belly bastards. Nice. Okay, four grand, very nice. Yeah, we're gonna level like stupidly quick here. And also, we're, we're, we're on half a million too, so. Right, what I'm thinking, if we save, save the game, and then like reload the game, does that reset? don't actually think I don't think there's any way to actually exit back to the menu is there probably not so let's yeah let's stop the emulation and see if reloading is going to bring him back in Because we're a professional pirate, after all. Now, a better YouTuber probably would have cut that out, but... Well, you know. Now the world should be reloaded. Surely... That means he should be back here somewhere. Ah, we're all the way over here. Go south. South look good, or what about southwest? Yeah, and we should. Ah, yeah, so that's what we've got to do. Okay, right. In fact, we're going to save it. And not only. Oh. <laughs> of course. Ah, uh, one more for the road, eh? 
Well, let's murder these things. Wow. That's some, uh, that's some good rolls. Very good rolls, apparently. Son of a bitch. Nice. Excellent. You're the only one left, my friend. Give him some Cutlass Fury. Not that we needed it, apparently. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's save it now. Uh, we shall also make sure our ship is fully repaired, which uh, might... Yeah, oh god, actually, ship's got a little bit of damage on it. So, I cut, go into the old equipment pouch, drop a complete kit on it, sure. And also, let's save state. And I can't actually remember how to save state on the simulator. Uh, sure. Here we go. Right, let's go. Let us do glorious combat on this giant magical egg thing. Right, you son of a bitch. Just you and me, big boy. Right, now we actually have... We have the advantage here. So let's, straight off the bat, hit him with drilling. Sure. Now, we're gonna give ourselves some gear grease and some more gear grease. And we are going to buff ourselves. Can I get out of that please? Thank you. Uh, Ingram. There we go. Sure. Have some of that, you bastard. Come on, let's send this bastard back to the ground. Burning, is there actually any ground left? Or is this just like a gaseous planet now? I think that makes sense to me because there once was a lot of mass that's exploded, but maybe there's some really interesting gravitational stuff going on. And it's just a gaseous ball that has somehow retained its atmosphere. That makes sense, I mean, Anything's possible. There are hundreds of billions of trillions of planets out there, after all. Yeah, we need to just wait this out until we can fire our gun. That is literally what we have to do. You can attack all you want, my pedigree chum. Yeah, so next turn. Uh, what we are going to do in that case, I guess we'll just use a deluxe kit. We will pop some more magic because we want to make sure this this sack of shit is still. Want to make sure his ass is still um, weakened, and then we want to use some um, increm on ourselves. Because I think it will run out next turn. Because it's last turn, this turn, then next turn it's over. So yeah, we'll use it again. Yes! Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Excellent. You're going to attack all you like. Okay. Brace for... Yep, he's weakened and we're powered up. Give it to him. God. God. Come on, baby. Come on. Right down its weird eggy throat thing. Yes. Come on, you bastard.
Oh, what? What? Are you serious? No way. No freaking way. Oh, dude. No way. He's going to run away. He is going to run away. Assessing damage. Dude, you're held together with duct tape, my friend. What we should have done for the rest of this turn. I was so confident that it was game over for him. We should have carried on pelting him with cannon fire. That's what we should have done. Ah, oh, what a failure. <sighs> Absolute bastards. Well, that's okay. Because now, with what we have learned... Uh, right, emulation. Right, let's try this sack of shit again. We know how to defeat him this time. We have the technology. We have the weapons. We have the plan. This guy is about to be dusted. Right, so... There's no point using drill and... Oh, I don't know, actually. I suppose we can. Right, so straight off the bat. Drill in the bastard. We will have some gear grease. Gear grease. And then buff. Well, I guess there's no point in buffing until we actually attack, is there? Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter either way. Come on. This is quite an intense battle. I suppose it's only fitting for this guy to be like the most powerful of the hidden bosses, I suppose. Now, did we did the drilling actually work? Actually, it did. Okay, so rebuff uh, or should I say redrilling? <laughs> redrilling. Uh, we, I guess we've got plenty, but we'll make sure we have plenty. Because we're just going to unleash such a devastating barrage on the bastard. Um, and yeah, we, we need to make absolutely sure that we are buffed. Right, let's see who has the last laugh this time. I, mean, I guess we could have just used our crew powers. Really. Alright, there's no point in hiding now. Your asshole is mine. We're gonna we're gonna warm his ass up with the ancient gun. Hit him with that. Hit him with that. Ooh, can't quite get him with that, so light this fucker up. Oh yeah. Oh he's pained. He's pained. Right, wipe him out. Come on. Wipe him out. You are so fucked, matey. Suck my cannon. Oh, it is glorious. Oh, that was perfect. Took enough tries, but that was perfect. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of gold. That's quite a tidy number of XP, too. Enrique, you're on the winning side of 100 now. Nice. Very nice. Whoa, Thermal Grease, Captain Stripe, and the Hex Shell. Let's have a look at those things. Right, now we've sent his ass down. Let's have a little look at this other stuff that we've got. Items. So, Thermal Grease prevents heat-related breakdowns. Okay. S restores spirit completely. Wow, that's, that's nice. Um... 
Ape, Ape Wax. Oh, that's basically, yeah, like drilling. So we've got a Captain's Stripe. Let's go strap that on. And Hex Shell, a barrier against artillery attacks for one turn, developed by a master engineer. Okay. Really? Does that imply that these loopers are some kind of man-made machine? Very curious. Right, let's go patch our massively battered ship up. And then we're going to save it, guys. When we come back, well, I guess we're going to go back to looking for um, discoveries, of which we really don't have many left, do we? If I can push the right button, that would also be rather fantastic. So if we go to journal, discoveries, three pages done. Yeah, not many of them left now. Really? Oh, it's actually only two and a half pages left. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen left. All right. We're on the winning side. So, when we come back, I'll probably go to a port and we'll start the next video by selling our next discovery or the discoveries that we've just got here. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.